right, so Alex, we talked about Curtis Samuel, a wide receiver that can get carries out of the backfield. There's another receiver that I think is poised to break out this year, and that's another guy I'm grabbing everywhere in this range. It's LaVisca Chenault. And in some drafts, when I'm able to get stud quarterback, stud tight end, stud running backs, and I'm circling back and, and trying to address the wide receiver core in those mid rounds. If I can get Curtis Samuel and LaVisca Chenault, I feel great about it. Mm-hmm. And with Chenault, that's interesting because there's ambiguity about the receivers and the roles that they're going to play. We don't know if DJ Chark 2020 season was a result of bad quarterback play or injury, or maybe he's not as good as we thought he was with him getting outproduced and outsnapped by Keelan Cole and Colin Johnson you know, these undrafted guys we've never heard of. Maybe it's Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones Jr. coming from Detroit, reuniting with Darren Bevel. A lot of folks think that Marvin Jones could take over the X role in this offense. But the one solid option in all that ambiguity is LaVisca Chenault. And last year, he was used really is a, a lot, you know, near the line of scrimmage, short yardage, think Debo Samuel type of receiver. But I think that could actually change. And I think the reason his ADP is so low is because folks are putting him into that box. They're putting him into that Juju mm-hmm. Smith-Schuster box where, oh, nope, he's just going to get these weak, you know, four-yard checkdowns. So that's really all he's going to do. Maybe he can produce some yards after the catch, but not going to get those high-value touches. But when you look at LaVisca Chanel as a player, he, he has A.J. Brown size. He's an athletic freak, and he impressed in his rookie year in a terrible offense. And and so as a rookie, we're talking about 600 receiving yards, 91 rushing yards. So looking at Curtis Samuel, same type of situation. In his last five games, Chenault took it to the next level, ended the season on a tear, 15.8, 11.1, 9.4, 15.8, and then 24.6 fantasy points on the last five games of the season. I think that window, that snapshot of those last five games of 2020 could be a sign of things to come for LaVisca Chenault, making him a stable option with upside at this phenomenal ADP of the mid seventh round. I think he's going to get used in creative ways on the ground and should be on the field a ton, assuming all remains constant. Now, the pushback on LaVisca Chenault is, well, he's more Corderell Patterson than Curtis Samuel, and maybe so. And and that's baked into the ADP here. But just based on what he did as a rookie, I don't believe that to be the case. He looks fluid. He is able to play the big slot role and create yards after the catch. He is a wide receiver in a running back's body. And even (laughs) if you watch him move on the field, the way he's juking guys, the way he's stiff-arming, looks like he is a running back. And you add all that in the, with the fact that he starts the year in a streamable matchup against the Texans. He also plays the Titans twice and has the Cardinals, the Bengals, the Seahawks, and the Bills in his 2021 future. So he has a solid schedule. And then he gets Trevor Lawrence coming in to be his quarterback. I mean, imagine how much higher in ADP we would have LaVisca Chenault if we woke up tomorrow and Joe Burrow or Justin Herbert was the quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, and and we're getting the discount because Trevor Lawrence is a rookie. We do have a rookie head coach in Jacksonville. And those are things that I'm willing to say, look, I'm willing to put my chips in on them despite some of the unknown variables here because that's where league winning picks come from. They don't come from these guys that are, you know, in the mid rounds and we know what they're going to do or their high floor plays like Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry is not going to win you a league. Tyler Boyd's not going to win you a league. But if you can wait a few rounds and put your chips in on a guy that could ascend in an offense that could ascend, you yes. got to feel great about that. The defense still needs work in Jacksonville. So I expect the pass volume to be there. All these factors get me so excited for LaVisca Chenault this year. I'm pumped. Let's go. Dude, you just got me so hyped. I'm going to be taking LaVisca Chenault and all the leagues we're in together, so you better watch out. Um, Honestly, if you wouldn't have picked him for your list, I would have picked him for mine. You beat me to it. But you look at this situation, it couldn't be better for LaVisca Chenault. I mean, you look at Trevor Lawrence specifically, and Trevor Lawrence loved Amari Rodgers at Clemson. Amari Rodgers 
was a guy who got 20% target share last year at Clemson. And now you look at Jacksonville and LaVisca Chenault is a bigger, faster, stronger, more explosive version of Amari Rogers. That same role that Trevor Lawrence loved to give the ball to at Clemson. So this Jacksonville team, you said it, they're going to pass the ball a ton. I mean, they were seventh in pass attempts last season with the Gardner Minshew Mike Glennon, Jake Luton experience. So now you get Trevor Lawrence. I I can't imagine this team not throwing the ball, you know, in the top 10 teams in the NFL. I think their attempts are going to be through the roof. LaVisca Chenault should be a pretty highly targeted player in this offense. He should get creatively utilized, you know, maybe on some jet sweeps out of the backfield as well. I think Urban Meyer is really, really going to like LaVisca Chenault. So wheels up for him. And I I agree with you. I think if you want a league winning type player in these middle rounds, LaVisca Chenault is the perfect guy to target. And our mid round league winners last year were Michael Gallup, Deontay Johnson. I remember him being one in the eighth round. We were smashing all day. CD lamb was there too. So these are guys that while there's a lot of ambiguity, there's question marks on their situation or what they're going to do in 2021 and beyond. This is where we can make those smart picks that allow us to address the other positions and accrue value later. At wide receiver, you don't want to overextend your roster.